What's up, folks? This is Jeremy with Quench Your Adventure. This is a bittersweet chapter in our lives because we are selling the RV. Bitter because we've absolutely loved our time with it, but sweet because we're pursuing some other travel dreams. That said, here's our 2007 Coachman Freelander. This is a Class C motorhome and it's ready to continue quenching your adventure. All right, let's check out the inside of this bad boy. Come check out our 2007 Coachman Freelander. It's 25 feet, nine inches long, and it has 61,000 miles on it. And we're gonna show you the inside. All right, so just to quickly orient you to the space, looking up front, you've got the living room, the dinette, table, loft area for sleeping or storage, cab, beautiful. Big curtain so you can separate the space, TV, everything. But let's start more towards Here's the back. The kitchen and the bedroom. So, bedroom. This is a full or double sized bed mattress with a really comfy and soft mattress pad. Um, we updated the curtains and made um, better window covers. It gets completely dark in here. Lots of storage up top Lots for of all of our clothing. That's my section. So Jeremy yeah, whoa. So Jeremy has that, and then I have this, this, Nice, and... a vent up there. We put in all LED lights in the interior. I also have this. This is like the main bedroom closet. Massive. And a little bit of clo clothing nice. there. But yes, there's LED lights throughout the entire RV, as well as some vent vents in the front and the back. But then above vent us fan. is a vent fan. Awesome. All right, you want to go in the bathroom? <laughs> Come to the tiny bathroom. Okay, this is the bathroom. We just updated the toilet. So it's a brand new toilet. We'll put in the description what kind it is. And then this is the shower. We also just updated the shower head. So we have our soap, lotion, shampoo, and conditioner all here. Hot and cold water. Shower, do your thing. And it's so lit thanks yeah. to the skylight. Really nice skylight. That's awesome. We don't really store anything here because everything is right here. Awesome fan as well in here. Also, we have a vanity and a mirror that holds just a bunch of toiletries. There's also a tiny little cabinet down here that fits all of our toiletries as well. Pretty sizable, yeah, I would say. Yeah, pretty decent. And that's nice. the bathroom. That's the that bathroom. what you need, right? Short and sweet. All right, kitchen. Time for the kitchen. We have a double sink. Love that. We have a banana hammock. <laughs> Love that even more. And sometimes when we're going down the road, it's really softening up the raw avocados <laughs> for a great guacamole. Just quickly ripening them. Um, a little built-in paper towel holder and two cabinets in the kitchen, one for plasticware and spices, and then just kind of miscellaneous. Nice. Full-on microwave works very well. I don't cook a lot, so I love a microwave. Yeah. Um, we have the three burner stove. Propane for all of that. Yep. And then as well as the oven for when I burn cookies because I can't <laughs> bake. <laughs> and the refrigerator and freezer, which also runs off propane so or electricity. This is a fridge. Awesome. It's plenty of stuff. We've never really had no no space there. Sometimes no. our freezer gets a little packed with some yummy goodies. Awesome. But everything fits really, really nice. Some extra storage up front here by the door as well. The foyer, as we call it. And, and right a little here. control panel here that shows some of the tank information. Also in the kitchen, we have cutlery and the vitamins in this drawer. And then a very, very large area that kind of wraps around back with all of the other goodies like pots and pans, George Foreman, and all of our smoothie devices. Nice. And a quick point to the solar charge controller, as well as the meter here that reads the percentage we are charged. Super cool. One more thing to note in the back, many times when it got cold in the night, Jeremy was able oh, yeah. to adjust the thermostat for our furnace, which yep, is right here right that there. keeps our toesies nice and warm, which yeah. has been very, very nice. There is a carbon monoxide alarm right here. And yep, propane alarm down propane there as well. Propane alarm right there. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna switch. Okay, towards the front. So we spend a lot of time sitting right here because we work here and we eat here. We do a lot of both of those things. We've got some updated curtains on either side. If you watch our original tour video, those were different. Uh, we put some nice work into ripping the old ones out and getting some new ones. This is the futon, which pulls out into a bed. 
the first place we'll put people if they're staying with us. But this also confer, uh, converts into a bed. It's a little trickier to do, but you can sleep potentially two more people there, as well as the loft, which is actually the biggest bed of all, technically. We, of course, use it for storage. But with all that said and done, you could have two there, two there, two there, two there. You could potentially sleep eight humans in there. We've done six, and that was enough, but uh, very possible. TV, it is a smart TV that is updated and awesome. And this is kind of the chill pad in the evenings that we put this out in the futon, throw some pillows and blankets on there and lay down and watch some TV on the smart TV, which we have Wi-Fi thanks to this guy right here, a WeBoost as well, huge $500 update that is connected to the exterior antenna on the outside. And again, we work right here. So that's helping to boost our signal under this seat we have the battery bank. So four 100 amp hour AGM batteries. That is awesome. That's what the solar panels are charging. The alternator charges that as well when we drive. And if we were to ever turn the generator on or plug in, that would charge that battery bank as well. We can read the percentage of that charge under there. Uh, really cool storage space under that dinette and the loft, pretty straightforward storage space. And of course up here, we've got all of our kitchen stuff. There's another vent up here keep the airflow if it's warm. All these windows open up have screens as well. You can see in here more than enough storage space. We got a safe in there, air fryer. It's not like we're uh, deprived of any of the comforts of home. So very cool. And then of course the cab, really the last on the inside. We spend a ton of time up here as well because uh, we've driven quite a few miles all over the whole country. It's been uh, incredible. Um, pretty straightforward. This is a rear view camera. Yes, it works. It's not a TV. And that's pretty much it. If you wanted to remove this, you could. Would allow a little more open space, but we keep it there since we store everything up there. But that's about it. Thanks for checking out the inside of the Coachman Freelander. It's, uh, it's been a great spot for us. We've had a lot of fun and made a lot of memories in here. Now time for the outside. Let's go. All right, guys, let's talk about the outside of the RV. So first, what makes this baby run? It is a GM Vortex 6000. That's a six liter V8 engine. It's got about 62,000 miles on it right now. Great condition. We also had the transmission completely rebuilt, uh, tow and shift kit. I mean, I told the guy to go all out. So nearly a $4,000 job there and a job well done. It has been awesome since then. So all is well up here. We put LED headlights in. Um, we probably are due for a car wash, but uh, yeah, let's talk a little bit further about the space on the outside. So first, this is where the generator sits, and I never really opened this because you don't need to, but I did change the oil on this recently. It's got just a little over 100 hours on it. It's the Micro Quiet 4000 made by Onan, and it works just great. It runs off gasoline. This is also a gasoline vehicle. Um, gets around 10 miles per gallon tank you could fill to maybe around 30 gallons, maybe around 300 miles uh, range. Then we have this here. This is where the hoses are stored, a few other things such as some gloves, um, extension cords, things of that nature. Perfect storage. And all of this stuff is staying with the RV, by the way. We don't have a use for it once we sell it. Um, here is where you would access to change a couple of the settings on the water. So when we go to fill the tank, we just change it to tank fill. You can also winterize it here. Got this little extension just to make things a little sturdier when we are filling the fresh water. That's the input for that. Also the city water connection. And last on this side, this is to access the propane tank. Holds about eight or nine gallons. Um, it runs really, you know, for us, if, if it's running the refrigerator, we're cooking on it, we're using the furnace, we still get a couple weeks before we have to refill. Propane's cheap, maybe spend 20 bucks a month, maybe a little more. Um, so that's that. Moving a little further to the back, all of the um, black water and gray water is there. Everything works as normal. That's where we dump. Um, looking right here, we've got the um, spot where you pull out the cord to plug in, which we don't really do all that often because we have a solar system, so we don't have that much need to. Um, in the back, bike and bike rack, those things will be sold before the RV sells. But the point is there's a hitch, so you could put your own. You could also tow a vehicle up to around 4,000 pounds with this beast. 
Um, up there we have the Wii Boost. That was about a $500 uh, purchase and I installed it myself. So that's the exterior antenna. There's an interior antenna that sits on the dinette. The purpose of that is to basically make our signal strength better. So you put your phone next to that antenna, you get another bar. You have a little better speed even if we're out in somewhat remote locations. Also, you can see the backup camera up there. That works just fine. Gives you a little bit of space so you don't always have to have somebody get out to look behind you if you're backing up. This thing's also small enough that you can do a three-point turn if you're not towing anything. So we really love that because we never have towed anything in it. We drive it like it's a van, basically. Um, right here, we have the rear garage. Give you a look in here. Tons of space. You maybe can't see all that well, but it's about five feet deep in there, maybe three feet wide. We've got a table, a big mat, multiple chairs, a tool kit, a um, bunch of random tools, huge water filter here. So more than enough space in here. Love that. And they're all, all the, all of these garages have locks, so you can lock them. If you were plugged in or the generator was running, there is an outlet here if you wanna plug something in outside. Um, exhaust for the hot water heater, refrigerator, and um, yeah, these motorized awning arms. This was a, a big adjustment here. We had a, a manual awning and um, you know, that's a, a bit of a pain. Now this is the push of a button, comes out in about 10 seconds. And um, that's nearly a thousand dollar job to actually buy the arms as well as install them. Step on the outside, front garage here, similar to the back, a little bit uh, wider, not quite as deep. Um, yeah, holds open on the corner there. Can fit a bunch of stuff in here as well. We're leaving a few of the things in here, such as the leveling blocks and um, the RV wash. So yeah, that's that. A lot of storage space on the outside. And again, all these are lockable. Um, really, that's, uh, that's about it for the outside. Anything else, Jenna, you can think of? I am going to show you how the awning works. Oh, okay. All right, guys, there's the step out, by the way. And um, looking here, we'll show you how the awning works. Simple push of a button. And back to kind of the job of the installation. I mean, you know, you actually have to, to put wire through there and, um, and hook it up. So, you know, not a small job, but a very worthwhile one because now, we can put this out, careful in high winds, of course, and uh, we've got some shade, a place to stay, work under, put out that table, enjoy a little picnic outside. And yeah, I mean, this thing extends, I think about six feet out, and you can also adjust on the sides here. You could put it, make it a bit higher, kind of adjust it based on where the sun is. And um, yeah, screen door as well on the outside, can close that up. For nice chilly nights or mornings when you want some fresh air. For sure, a little light there on the outside. And anything else, that's about it. Awning looks good. So yeah, I'll take another step back here. I mean, that's the outside of the 2007 Coachman Freelander. Um, Chevy Workhorse is uh, the build up front. But um, yeah, this thing's a beauty. And uh, we're sad to say bye to it, but excited for it to keep going on adventures with somebody else. So yeah. All right, guys, Yay! we'll see you. Thanks for touring with us.